Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Eric again, doing another car. Actually, this is my own car. It's a Chevy Malibu 2000. And today we're going to be doing wheel bearing, axle, and control arm, because the ball joint is loose. The first thing we got to do, let me see if we can break this nut. Oh, it rolled away. That's good. Let's get this caliper off. Hang it to the side somewhere if we can. Oh, let me show you. Look at that busted boot. Axle. All exposed to the elements. Got the spring in there. Lay that to the side. Pad's still good. It haven't been that long since I put them on there. Set that to the side. I don't need to get in here and get that cutter pin off in the castle nut. Well, 18. And get it off. Might need a I need a pick a fork to get it out of here, but sometimes we can use a hammer. Get the hammer out the way. Get this loose. Okay, that was easy this time. Uh oh, I got a splinter. Uh, hit the hit the ground before uh, no clearance. <laughs> it hit the ground before I get it all the way out. Okay, so what's my next move? Get a wrench. <laughs> this is my air ratchet. Hit the ground before and I didn't want to get stuck in that position. Take this stabilizer pin loose. Hit it with the bottom with the air. Okay, that went too bad. Keep up with your nuts. <laughs> Don't drop your nuts all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm using chrome socket, but it's already loose. Got to hold the other side. Get a wrench. This ain't easy doing laying down. But it's accomplishable. It's not easy, but it's accomplishable. Better to have a rack and be all good. There we go. Look at my hands. Greasy and grimy. Alright. 
that's out. Just in case you have a little leakage from the trans, I'm gonna get a bucket and put under there. Nobody wants to see me struggle with this, but for some reason, my automotive videos, my automotive videos seem to get more views than my other ones. So. That wasn't too bad. Now let's get this hub off. And you just uh, do the hub. Let it go through there. Sometimes. I don't. In this case, I will. Let's see if we can get this control arm in. Get that nut on it. Don't forget to take this plastic piece off. I almost forgot. I ain't going to forget this time. Let's get this axle on here. So here's the deal right now. The old castle nut is taller than, I meant, yeah, the, this t the old castle nut is taller than the new castle nut. See the difference? You get that sometimes with aftermarket parts. So if I put the new one on, the counter pin will go through the hole, but it won't go through the slot. So I would rather for it to go through the slot at the same time. If I put the, the new one on, the slots will be lower than the hole. So it won't be going through the slots in the castle nut. And it made no damn sense. So I'll put the old one on. Let's put the old one on. All right. So everything is back together. Put the caliper back on. Took the axle nut to specs, and next is just to put the tire on, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. I got more.